Punko, I'd say, is one of the favorites here to probably take the tournament, right? Because he made third place at EVO. This is the version that they had at EVO. What the hell are these things? It's a uh, vitamin C uh, cough drops. They're good. Oh, all right. They I'll work. Time later. Okay. I see Bobino. Man, he's having a baby. Oh, my God. Not him, but, you know, his wife. <laughs> But still, that's that's one of the scariest things in the world. Yeah, yeah, you're a pro, man. Yeah, it's scary. I would not recommend it to anybody. No? No. <laughs> no. And I can tell you why, but I probably won't say it on stream because okay. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. But fair enough. It's it's scary. Well, don't worry. I'm I'm already on point. I got it. Advice taken. All right. Looks like we're gonna have the match set up right now. We have Punko, who. Uh, I'm dominating completely his first match that we saw up here. I don't know who his opponent is, but we're going to find out pretty soon. I can't wait for this tournament to wind down. I keep looking into the crowd and seeing really good players. And, like, these types of players, you know, I've never, I haven't seen them play in years. So who knows what's happened in the last few years. Oh, Devil Jin, huh? They could be way worse now. They could have gotten way better. I know a lot of the scene that I haven't been around in, in SoCal really still likes Tag 2. There's a few people out here that really like the game still and still play it. Oh, so yeah. those guys will be sharp. Tag 2, you know, and that's a game that I feel like uh, towards the end of its uh, life cycle before Tekken 7 was announced and before it came out, that's when people really started understanding and playing the game. Yeah, it's really complicated. It yeah. takes a while to learn. Here we All go. Right, Bunko we go. already jumping. CRC Toro right now with the Shining Fist combo, but whiffs the Hell Sweep. Punko attacks from above. Oh, he's one wow. of those, Oh, huh? so maybe, yeah, he's going for an anti-air with the laser. Low parry. You think he's going to try to catch the demon flip and then combo? Oh, uh, was that a... Oh, whoa. he ancient power there. Hmm. Running I'm green. trying to decide how tactical these decisions are. They seem very tactical. Yo, the side step two should beat the demon flip mix-ups. Hmm. Wow, things are working out so yeah. far. Oh. oh, what is he doing? That's a reversal of some sort, right? Like Into the regular throw? Wow. Punko shaking his head. He's not happy. Man, okay, CRC Toro right now looking to defend home turf America. Fighting the evil warlords Ooh. from South Korea. The rear. Careful. Twin piston. Scraper. He knows how to break the stun. Oh, oh, my. Okay, that didn't work out like I thought it would, but. Wow. Oh. Nice conversion on that. Oh, and he drops it. Uppercut. You know he's ready. He has the meter. He still has one bar, too. You have to be careful. Look at his Woo. wake up here. What's Anybody's he do? game. Oh, he went for a side step, too. Oh! Oh, man. This guy's solid. He could win. He got Beautiful the Beautiful can can. Nice can, can. That's how you do it. And, man, speaking of rhythm, this matchup is intense. Toro coming out of the darkness. Who is this guy? Evo top three placer, Punko, really in big trouble here. Nice conversion. Oh my gosh, what combo is he going for? He's playing with Nervous. Okay, can, can. Man, decisions by Punko are questionable at this point. Okay. Okay. Doesn't get the full combo because of the wall. But Demon flip. Oh, he oh! got the counter hit. Not going to kill. Oh, he dropped the combo. And EX Dragon Punch for Punko. Punko looking to come Anyone's back here. Game. No. Is that going to hit? No way. That's it. He was greedy. I mean, he didn't even need that. Yeah, why? he just did it because he got it. Yeah. He could have actually punished. Oh, on the other side. Oh, Not oh. in the rear. Gosh. Great option hits. so far. Oh, yeah. He's going to convert. Again. Drops it this time. Safe. Oh, he could have blocked that. He tried sure. moving. Uh-oh, Punko turning things around. Oh, he ducked it. That's Great not stuff. good. That's not good news for Toro. And Toro might have maxed out his credit card. Yeah, hopefully not. Backing up. Punko regaining some composure, creating space, buying some time. Yeah, oh. building a lead. Why not? Why is he up lasering? All he's doing is uh, building meter here, or he's already fully stocked. Whoa. All right, interesting. Toro, he's got some some serious trouble to deal with here. I'm just, surprised there was no EXDC on that. So oh. many eyes on the matchup right now. A lot of people. Obviously. Oh, wow. he burned the whole bar there, and it paid off. It seems. Wait a minute. Don't count him out yet. It's not over for our hero. He's still got the rage assault. Oh my God, he tied it up more or less. Oh, oh my gosh. The and, and the celebration. That was sick. And CRC. That Toro. was sick.
I, you guys didn't see him, but he was like amped about his victory. That was beautiful. And it was a really honest comeback too. Good choices, safe mids, nice work. He's got me on the edge of my seat. Man, and just like that, Punko might be going to lose bracket. Oh man, I was just saying how, you know, he's a contender to win. So oh, he's taking favorite? off his jacket. What's your favorite sushi? He's taking off his jacket. Toro? He's putting all his stuff, pulling the stuff out of it. Oh! And Toro is taking off his jacket. Man. Oh my. Okay, Punko. Let's see if it's going to go all the way. I doubt it. I don't want to see pepperonis. I'll be honest. It's too early on a Saturday. The last thing I need is pepperonis yeah, this early. We're going to have to walk downstairs. There's no elevator here. We're screwed. No thanks. We're going to have to do the, what's called the fire pole. Yeah, the, the Ghostbusters. Yep. Someone okay. sound the alarm. There are pepperonis here. So uh, Toro is now selecting his character. He, he looks like he's amped up, but, you know, he wants to keep it cool. I like that. Taking time on a win. Yeah, you That's know, a good strat. It seemed like Toro was playing very nervous. He's good. On. No, I like it. I like his style because, but, you know, his comeback was so calculated. Yeah. And you know what's crazy? Like, it shouldn't have even been that situation. He was up 2-0. You're right. On round. You're right. He and, loosened he, it up too much. He got too anxious. Yeah. Butthole okay. clenched. Yeah, definitely. All Mark. of us. Okay, here we go. 1-0 Toro. Punko took off the jacket. Toro met his... Uh, challenge there yep successful defense on the tower from toro but right now we're going to the second match we'll see if ts punko is able i mean i'm for sure he's going to play with such aggression here we'll see right now okay oh man both players oh defense, my god defense man oh look at this round oh my god you can hardly even remember how it happened so Punko, yeah, on fire turning right it now. up, yeah. Okay. Oh, here we go, and he's working on a second perfect, perhaps. Yeah, this is crazy. Okay, beautiful. You know, you mentioned that he knows what he's doing. Three into the corner. Oh, straight wall splat. Interesting combo there. Puts the break. Nice. On. No wall break. He's in the corner, I guess. He went for the full charge there. Oh, here comes Punko. What's Punko gonna oh, do? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Corkscrew. No. Dropped the combo. I'm not sure if that's what he oh! wanted, but it doesn't matter. He had an opportunity there. It's safe. Oh, how is that happening every time? Not sure, but Akuma has. Oh my oh, God! Wow, the jump over. The crowd goes wild. And you got to remember when Akuma's back turn, he has very slow options for back turn. Oh my God! Dumping his whole meter on. Drops that. the combo. Wow, but what a reset situation here. Look at all that damage. But Toro can't count him out. Ooh. Nice sidestep there. Oh! I thought he was going to counter him. hit. It's not over yet. He's got the red dress on. We've seen a comeback already from him. Ouch. Ouch. Raw back one, and it hit. I love the way that move looks. Yeah. Far standing fears from third strike, yeah? Really looks like it hurts. Oh, he went for the full extension there. Okay, Hurricane. Oh, Toro is going to have to do something here. He's going to lose this matchup. While standing two. Boom, boom. Okay. okay. Gets a combo at the wall. You know Whoa. it. Oh, what a combo. Yeah, uh, yep, the crowd loves it. The crowd loves it. Oh, how did that whiff? And you know, he's really depending a lot on the sidestep, too. Uh oh, he might kill here. Is the wall going to be. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to hurt big time. Is he going to kill? Man, he turned it around just like that off of a drop combo. <gasps> oh, my gosh. And Toro. One round away from sending Punko to the loser's bracket. All these open mouths in the in the crowd right him now. Out of air this time. Anti-air. Predicting the jump in. And Devil Jin with some anti attack Oh. Teleport? Away from the wall. And this Punko, of course, crazy. not having meter yet, but he caught him ducking. Okay, he's turning it up now. Oh, Punko drops, drops it. it. Toro maneuvering. Oh, hell sweep. Here comes the combo. And you know, Toro has been the most dangerous when he was down. So let's see if he can make an adjustment one, one. here. Uh, you're in big trouble. He's got the meter to cancel it. Corkscrew. It might be enough to kill. Oh, no. He's Not away from quite. the wall. Oh, Okazumi with the sweep. Seal the deal. Man, this is getting crazy. That was a close fight. This is very intense. So wow. right now, CRC Toro versus TS Punko going down to the final match. It's now 1-1 apiece. Man, Punko's mannerisms while he plays are so peculiar, right? Like he, he twitches around Did in his seat. he just spit into his hand? Yeah, I just, the things he does are weird. <laughs> Someone watch that stick afterwards, all right? <laughs>
That's one of the community sticks. Hey, come on. I want to play on that. Maybe I'll get some skills. Yeah, maybe your shirt will fly <laughs> I'll off. take it. Damn. I hope not. Okay, Toro, he's talking to his amigo. All right. I mean, it was still close. Even though he lost the second game, it wasn't a blowout, which is important. Going to the decisive final match here, and we're in the Devil's Pit, or it, I wouldn't have it any other way, an epic battle between Devil Jin and Akuma. Yeah, this should be pretty good. I like it because, you know, it, it proves that the first game was not a fluke. He really held his ground in game two, and even though he lost, you know, it was real close. It comes down to this exciting finale here. Serious finale, Tupunko versus Toro, let's go. One, one Toro, not sure where he's from, I'm not sure what CRC stands for, but we're getting down to business. Tupunko already off to an early start with 50% plus. Oh, Ooh. wow. Wow, that was good. Wall oh, he splat. did his sidestep it. Oh, he's trying some tech and tag stuff. Oh, he nice. hit him. Should get a follow up here into the wall. Wall carry, side wall, no, not quite. Throw, broken. Uh oh, oh that's gonna hurt. Wait a the minute. Wall stun. Yeah, the low crouching forward, down three, right? Yep. Very dangerous against Akuma. You have to crouch low a lot more than you do against any other character in this game. Wow, the resets here. It's like an anime game, air dashing and everything. Okay. Everything seems to be working out right now in this round for Toro. Oh, hit him with the ancient power. It's such a great way to win a match when you have a lead. But man, look at this. He just burns all that uh -oh, meter. The rear. Oh, he tries it again. You should punish it. Nice. There you Back go. All right. 1-1. One, one. And he doesn't have any meter here. So ideally, Toro should definitely take these rounds. Careful. No punish from Punko. Nice punish from Toro. Interesting Not quite combo. far enough. No, no corkscrew. Punish that. Tsunamis. Double tsunamis. Back oh! at it. Into the throw this time. And he's going to get Okazumi at the wall here. Nice side roll. Oh no! Not he's gonna, gonna be able to avoid it. Jump it! You know oh, it! Oh no! He didn't punish it yeah, properly. He could have done a lightning screw. Okay, it doesn't matter. Wow! Punko at the edge of his seat. Ducking in that situation, Toro again in a situation where he could end this all. You're in big trouble, amigo. And the American crowd here, of course, cheering for Toro. Down back two. They definitely oh, don't want to face him. Nice! Later. Wow! He dropped the combo into the, the low this low. time. These are Tekken strings. Not sure if you know about him, Punko. Oh wow, my God! Again! Hitting him with that three ring circus. He should be able and to close it out. It. The crowd goes wild. Punko goes down in winner's bracket to Toro. Yeah, wow. Nice work. Nice work. You know, when I saw them sit down, I totally thought this was going to be free for Punko. Yeah, because I don't know who the other guy is, right? Have yeah. you ever seen him? I've ne Actually, you know, I think I saw him at Northwest Majors, but he was playing casuals. Huh. But I did not see him play in the tournament. He does not so look I never familiar to me. So, yeah, nice work. Huge shout out to that guy coming out of nowhere and sending Punko to loser's bracket. Third place at Evo. And yeah. this is the same version as Evo. Correct. Not nerfed. Quote, unquote, nerfed. Very, very nice work by Toro. That's what I'm looking forward to. In a tournament like this, you know, people are going to come out of the woodworks. I mean, like I said, who knows who's been playing Tekken Tag 2 the last year and a half? You know, while there's been no weekly tournaments, these internet monsters grinding out rank in Tag 2, they're going to be sharp. It's been intense stuff, man. That yeah, that was awesome. That was an awesome fight. It just shows how, how crazy the gameplay could be. Yeah, and he had the combos together. You know, he had a few strategies. Like It was like he did his homework against Akuma. And the that's jump kind of overs, you, man, awesome. That's the kind of things that you like to see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because calculated gameplay is a lot more uh, fun to watch to me as well, you know? Yeah, and it's like, you know, people. a lot of people talk about in the Street Fighter world when they see Daigo go into Batman mode where he studies the matchup, where he studies the opponent, <laughs> and he unleashes his repertoire yeah. of st study techniques. But he's learned. Yeah, that was the attempt at the demon. He could have done a lightning screw or a can-can there. Yeah, for but sure. Either way, he sealed the deal. Nice work. Oh, this should be an interesting match. And you know, match. the one time he went for the up laser, he caught him in the jump in. Uh -huh. And it proved like, oh, okay, he, it was all worth it at that point. Yeah, his, he, I really liked what he brought to the table there. So great stuff, Toro, of course. We're going to get our next match. Looks like we have Mr. Filthy Rich back up on the scene. Man, we have a lot of people here that came in from out of town. Wow, this is insane. Yeah, definitely. So I know this guy, I saw him at PAX, and he was playing Gigas in the tournaments that we're having there, the daily tournaments. And he actually he knows his stuff. So this... 
Rich is going to have his work cut out for him. This is uh, someone that's been playing uh, Tekken for a while. From Boston? It's Congo Jack. From Boston? He's from Boston? I thought he's in uh, Seattle now. Moved to Seattle, oh, moved yeah. To that's Seattle. Originally okay. from Boston, okay. moved to Seattle. Yeah, Giga's player. And you know he's been improving. Every time I've seen him, you know, at Northwest Majors, like you mentioned, uh, definitely has been improving. And of course, you know, Filthy Rich, veteran uh, Heihachi player, top uh, top eight placer at EVO 05, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, Tekken 5.0. Oh, no, I think it was 06. 06, maybe, but it was still yeah. 5.0, I know, was because it, it was 221 existed. 221, baby. Yeah, I know that because his hotel room was 221. <laughs> so it was an omen. Uh, a match made in heaven. Yeah, I remember that. What's up with the life bars? Oh, they're pure red. They what are, is that about? It's because we just had a slobber knocker of a match. I don't know. What is it's that a, really about? I don't know. It's like probably a graphical glitch. Really? Yeah. I've never it's seen okay. that. What if this was a real match? I think it is. It is? Yeah. Wait, is, is it real match or is it a butt check? What's up with the life bars? Weird glitch. I've never seen that. Nice control and spacing there from Filthy Rich. Huh. Two. And it has like a sliver of yellow on it. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. That's what happens when you get Funko on the stream. I guess. When he loses. Oh, now. We're going downstairs. Bongo Jack. Great Man, combo. That's, that's such a distraction. Oh, into the mix-up. What's he going to do? Goes for the oh, blockable. Oh, nice. And you could duck. Man, you could kind of You could kind of fuzzy guard the mix-up there. Yeah, I'm, I like seeing characters like Gigas win because not a lot of people have, you know, faith in him. Yeah, there he's uh, in that tier that the Japanese player called no future tier. No future. Yeah. Nice low. The okay. Poking. Wow, things are working out right now. Going for the oh Ooh, neutral, neutral hop kick, jump. oldest trick in the book. Oh wait a minute, not in the rear. Okay, not gay. Normal throw. Dead right? No, not quite. He stays alive. No damage on that. It's funny. Normal throws should do more damage since they're so easy to break. Why don't they do extra damage? Round four. I don't know, that's a good question. Right? Actually, yeah. They do such little damage. Wow. High crushing there. We're going downstairs. Bottom floor now. No more floor breaks. Filthy Rich cornered. Bongo yeah, Jack. Way out of there. Okay, backing it up towards the middle now, of the stage. If I were Wirich, I would try to use more of the down back two in this matchup. Yeah, I love seeing the back dash from Congo Jack creating space. Not getting too overzealous. Nice shoulder. Into the running Ooh. two follow-up. He's going to go for a mix-up. No. Oh, man. Don't sidestep. You're out of here. Beautiful first game by Congo Jack. Filthy Rich. Again, he's not using his uh, Korean sticks. So I'm sure he's flustered. Some props from the crowd for Congo Jack. He's looking comfortable with Gigas. Is there a secret stash of Namcop water? Uh, I don't know, but I could get, I can get, I can get someone to get some. That would be super great. So game one, pretty convincing, and he looks real comfortable too. Oh, and he's using a Korean stick, but he came prepared. His Korean stick is a PS4 native it works. stick. Yeah, it works. So Congo Jack on the K stick as well. Get ready for the next Looks like he's using a Hori Real Arcade Pro case. With a Korean stick mod in it. What color is the case? Uh, it's red. With oh, red it's buttons. That's the A-trap silent. That's the new one. That one's tight. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for new stuff that they're gonna come out with for Tekken 7. Me too. I'm excited. You know, we are both <laughs> yeah. arcade stick fans. I can't wait for that kind of stuff. Nerd out. I think one of the first things we did when we were in Japan together, like oh, yeah. one of your first trips there, is we went arcade stick shopping. That's what I'm going for this time too. I can't wait. Oh, nice. Okay, so Congo Jack trying to keep his lead. He's up a game here, <clears throat> looking very comfortable. Interesting, able to catch him there. Backing up. Oh, oh. really tough to sidewalk with Gigas. He's got nice. the wild, wide childbearing hips, the low poke. But Rich now Ooh. looking more aggressive nice. in the matchup so far. Yeah. Seems to be working out. Okay. Oh, the second hit, of course. Got to be prepared for that stuff. Nice low oh, hit. One. Big wow. damage. Oh, nice electric. Nice Is he going to go downstairs? No. The corner doesn't break there. Yeah. Okay, nice launcher. Into the wall. What's he going to go for? Downstairs. There we go. Here comes the combo. Spikes him down. 
goes for the mix up there. Oh, oh neutral, neutral jump. That's the second time that's landed from that series. He wants the wall pressure, it doesn't break. Oh no, there's a punish. Not quite enough to kill. What's he gonna do, mix up? Oh, oh man. That's so scary, that's a pure 50-50 there. <laughs> oh, and Rich, Filthy Rich asks him, what is that? And he goes, I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you that's after, the amigo. Best answer. Yeah, I'll tell you after, bro. Don't worry about what that is. Boom, Filthy Rich. Uh oh, side. nice. Was that a punish on the Demon Uppercut? I don't know if it was. Wow, that would have been a pretty damn good punish. Oh, down 3 2. And man, it. Congo Jack steamrolling now. Too much breakaway. Oh, the launcher. Here we go. Oh, blue team. Oh, here goes for the run, but now back to the wall. He's going to have to be careful. Wow, Rich able to get that big launch into the Oh, the stepping on him. Ooh. Oh, all right. He's ready. He has rage. Man, look at this offense from Congo Jack. And this should end it. Boom, you're done. So sending the handshake. The losers. And Congo Jack coming in hot with the rage drives, with the rage arts. Tactics that Richie has never seen. Thanks for the Agua, Lord Nate. Thanks, I'll take two. I appreciate that. All right. That was a good one. All right, let's see what match we have next. Uh, the instant replay from just earlier, and so many clutch situations where Congo Jack was able to force that mix-up from the run stance into the... Yeah. It, the the mix-up is mid or unblockable. Yeah, unblockable that's is right. High. So you have to duck, right? Yeah, you have to duck. No, I don't think Very Rich knew that you can kind of fuzzy guard and kind of guess the option there. I, it would have hit me too. I'm not really familiar with it myself. There are a few of the rage drives that, you know, I've seen in videos, but when they happen to you, it's a real eye-opener. Like, like, whoa. What is that? How yeah. Do you Even though I had seen Jin's rage drive, when playing against him, you know, I just didn't remember. And then it came out, like, whoa. And there's a lot of good ones out there. I mean, we, we yeah. they, they seem to be underutilized. Not a lot of players. I mean, people are still getting used to it. Yeah, you got to get used to it. Remember that you have it. I, I suffer from that myself. Certain characters actually have really good ones. Like if you look at Xiao Yu, she has a low that goes into a combo starter. Yeah. That one is crazy. And then Warung, of course, able to help really help keep his pressure on with those. Hey, do you have you guys talked about how you, you're going to handle the national tournament spots that uh, are available? We can talk about it now. So, okay. Uh, for the last chance qualifiers, uh, I believe we have right now seven spots available. Wow. And it's not going to be a situation where we have one tournament and top seven yeah. get in. We're going to have several tournaments throughout the day until we fill up the seven. Until How we get many seven, tournaments? Se until we get winners. So you have seven to win a tournament. tournaments? You have to win a tournament, yeah. So we're going to wow. have single elim tournaments. And if a player is able to win, they will qualify. And how does it work? You can enter all of them. You can enter all of them. Wow. So it's going to be a, a test, but like, let's say if there's one guy that enters and he wins on the last one, like it took him seven tries. It's like old school pride. Yeah. You it's have like to fight multiple oh, times in a day. They let anyone in, I wow. guess. That is crazy. But you definitely have to win. There's no way you can get in yeah. without not winning a tournament. So you're just going to run tournament after tournament until you have a full bracket, and that's on the first day. Correct. Right. It's on okay. the eighth. So. If you guys are interested, of course, make sure you guys check it out. Check out Tekken.com. There's more information. There's a link to the King of Iron Fist Tournament oh, yeah. 2016 American Finals, which is happening November the 9th in San Francisco. So if you want to be part of the Last Chance Qualifiers, it's taking place the day before on the Tuesday, November the 8th, and we'll all be there. The, what's with the midweek thing? I kind of like it. <laughs> um, the, well, part of it is we want to make sure a lot of the press gets out there. So. Mm -hmm. um, you guys can probably guess if the, if the press is going to be out there. We'll probably have a lot of cool stuff to talk about. Oh. It should be a fun time. So Announcements. Maybe. I don't know, but we obviously huh? want the press to be able to, to check out Tekken 7 and also be yeah. able to talk about it. What about version? It's going to be the latest version. So it'll be version D. With um, Raven. I'm not sure how, when we'll get the update, but hopefully it'll be soon. But I know wow. it doesn't give the players a lot of chance to play it, but hopefully they'll be able to adjust with no problem. Should be fun. But right now, we are going to go ahead and prep for our next match on stream. Again, thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully, you're enjoying. We are going to be switching out uh, to another commentary team just shortly. So both myself and Eris will be back later on throughout the day. And again, we're going to yeah, be Yeah, it's going to be a long one today. It's going to be a long day. We're going to get up to top eight. Once we get to top eight tomorrow morning on the SoCal Regionals live uh, mainstream, we're going to have the top eight at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So make sure you guys stay aware of that. That's tight because it's going to end so early. You're going to get to play, right? Is there casuals tomorrow? All day tomorrow. Woo, so woo. people will be able to play Tekken 7 all day. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's really early. 10 a.m. They're going to get the top eight out of the way and then 
all day long they're going to be running all the other tournaments. You're going to be able to get, you know, casuals in upstairs and see everything downstairs. Yep. This venue, you know, it's a little small, but I really like the uh, House of Blues design. Being upstairs, also, I was concerned that because we're upstairs, it would be real warm, you know? But really, it's rises, not bad. You know, yeah, it's really good. They have really good ventilation here. Mm -hmm. And you probably notice it's really cold in some parts of the building. But it, it, it spreads nicely. <laughs> I'm in the mezzanine area. Yeah. Checking out the tournament. I hope that guy doesn't come by again for the thermostat, because that sucked. It's the tournament station. And uh, he just put, ran over. Yeah, somebody. like ran him over. Like, let me change the thermostat. All right. So it looks anyway. like we're getting our next match. I believe Bobino is sitting Ooh, down. Oh, this should be good. So this Bobino be a treat. told me he's using King. Really? Yeah. Oh man, somebody just hit the camera. Who was that? Ooh. It's a drive by. Was oh, and the mouse is in the. Hey Nate, can you adjust the camera to point the camera at us? Someone kicked it. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't know how to work it. He knows how to work it. No, he doesn't. He knows how to work it. Make sure you get Eris' good side. All my sides are my good side. That's what's up. Okay. Oh, this is our guy Toro. Oh, man. How is he going to take down an American? So Bobino has Bobino versus Toro? Yeah. This is good. Bobino is one of those guys that's just really good at every fighting game he plays, but he's not that good. He's just good <laughs> he's enough. He's good enough to dominate he's a menace. the first few weeks. Yeah, he's a menace. You know, like... He's a nuisance yeah. in every fighting game he plays. But I'm not in love with the size of his collar. I'll be honest. <laughs> it's large. Yeah, Larger it, than I'd like to see. He has a very low bust line on his yeah. shirt. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't going to say it until you brought it up, but you brought it up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so King, he's historically a Wang player. So, yeah. And a, a solid one. Solid Wang player. Solid Wang. Okay, so here we go. I want to see what he's got with King. <clears throat> you know, uh, he told me earlier, I asked him, like, hey, are you used to the new combos with King? And he told me that he'll do a hop kick and then he'll do forward two. Oh, and everyone I was like, oh, man. First. All King players know that yeah. pain. Oh, man. And Toro, Toro wow. already at it. Hurry it up while standing two. Oh, what a duck there. I wonder where this guy's from. He's good. We'll find out. I'm sure someone should ask him. That was a blowout <laughs> round. Toro coming in hot while standing two. No punish from Bobino. Interesting. Okay. Able to catch the delay and follow up with the combo. Let's see what mix up he goes for. No. Oh, wow. Toro on point. Not quite far enough. Up laser. Oh, wow. wow. That was a mistake. He wanted a electric but got it down two, and it got crushed. Okay. Bobino backing it up. I like the movement. Two, one. Nice, down one neutral two, able to put the brakes on though. Yeah, he's got a nice sizable lead. There's the hell sweep. Back two, three, here's a screw and the follow up. Goes for a spike into a mix up. Uh oh. oh nice, wow. he could kill. He should kill, but not going for the rage arc. Oh, he what? drops a combo. Oh my god, and Bobino not happy about that one, shaking his head. Wow, and yeah, he had that match. All right, back one, two. Okay, and there's a follow up here. Oh. Wow. What? Email Harada! I, I, That's a mid! I appreciate the crush attempt there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's wow. all he's gonna get. Appreciation. Appreciation yep. That's all you get. National failed crush day. That was a clean crush. Oh, oh again with the get off me. Man, he, oh. Oh, man things are I like working it. out. I like what I'm seeing from Toro. Okay. Oh, and all that work man. to get spring kick. And Toro, three straight rounds over Bobino. Surprisingly calculated decisions. For such a new game and such a uh, unfamiliar player, I don't. I've never even heard of him. Ideally, this is what will happen at every tournament. You know, you see people that you haven't seen come out. It's been a while since the Tekken game has really been like uh, you know heavily like a competitive game in this yep. region. But it's, it, it feels good, you know. We're, I mean, the game's not even out yet on console. Yeah, I can't I wait know. till that finally happens. Man, I think the console version and the PC version is going to be better than this because of the no linking. You know that, oh, yeah. that that freezing that happens. Sometimes it happens because due to due to network. It's going to be better. Yeah. It's going to be. There's never going to be that you, issue. <coughs> you played the PC version, right? Yeah. And you, you not know, one great, right? in, yeah. in 60 matches. I didn't have one. And and you you get that almost every match yep. on arcade. Well, so. see that's the thing is like with arcade and the way that they network it. Yeah. It really gives benefits to the players that want to choose which side yeah. they're on and stuff like that. It's a cool feature. Yeah. I like that. 
But it definitely adds that that component to the game you have to watch out for. And my stage is up. Okay. Toro trying to wiggle around. No hop kick on that. I would have liked to see a hop kick punish on the Hell Sweep. Another nice crush by Toro. This time he gets paid off. Wow, another. You know, you can hop kick punish that sidestep too as well. Nice duck. Can can. Weird combo. Down jab. Seals the deal. Good stuff so far. So Bobito finally on the scoreboard here. Ooh, Ooh. we should have done a forward one. It's so weird to see how little Air King gets when he goes for the hop Yeah. Kick. But it reaches very far. Okay. Into the open. While standing Ooh, too. Nice work. Uh oh. Drops the wall combo, but the pressure. Giant swing, and he's got the throw breaks. Toro. So far, he's the most exciting player of the tournament for me. No, oh, for sure. I mean, he Ooh. should be. Oh, oh, kill him. No. He should be considered a hero. Oh, my Ouch. God. Ouch. So you got to always be ready with King to do a down forward 2-1 off of a float yep. or a down forward 4-3 if they're too low uh, to get that conversion. Win God Fist. Toro falling apart this game. Oh, nice combo. Oh, nice. wall splat. Okay, oh. he's he's getting it together now. Nice sides that they're able to readjust. Ooh. And man, he's using that a lot. It's a good idea. I like it because, wow, wrong direction, not Holy, in the rear. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Goodness. Bobino, Bobino stole the rounds. Down. That was great stuff. Bobino got like 60% on his rear right there just because of bad decisions from Toro. Man, that was a blow up. Now the question is, which one of those games was a fluke, right? Was the first one a fluke or was the second one a fluke? Well, we're going to find out who Both the Both were 3-0s, right? Yeah. We're going to find out right now. One there's, of them was a fluke. There's only one way to <laughs> figure it out. Two three O's in a row? And we know Toro has composure in the long haul because he just beat Punko in a long set. Punko's still watching him too. Yep. And this is going to be the last match here that Eris and I will be doing commentary on. We're going to tag in Mr. Tasty Steven Anakin. We're going to be Circa. here all day though, so don't worry about that. Yeah. We're just going to eat a few hot dogs in, in between. Oh my. But okay, back, here we go. Back into the Mishima building. Here we go. Final match between Toro and Bobino. Down 4-2. Doesn't duck the high. Nice. Nage. Okazumi here. Doesn't fall for it. Counter hit. Bates out the counter hit this time. Pushing towards the wall. Nice adjustment there. Yeah. Wall throw would have been nice. Hell sweep. There you go. That's. Oh, oh he did my. the classic. Ooh. But he, 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 he catches his composure there. But man, I remember you did that in Japan. And it's you, so you, hard you, to shake it. You almost punched the machine. Yeah, I, it's very frustrating because you hit a clean launcher and you just do the wrong thing. It's muscle memory. Yeah, you throw it away on the first hit. Yep. That is. That sucks. And there's no way to come back from that combo. Yeah. If you hit forward two, they're gone. Yeah. You can do forward two one, but even then, That's it's too it. hard to come back. not good it. enough. Oh, wow. Could have had an opportunity there, but Toro right now. He's got the rage. Uh -oh. Uh oh, this is going to hurt. Is he going to rage art? Yeah, he is. It's not going to kill, is it? Oh, it could. It might. It's going to kill. He's really He's low on dead. life. <laughs> He's dead. Here's the plunker. Ooh, oh. nice. Okay, Bobino pulling through here. Toro's in trouble. Jamon Toro. Down two rounds. The oh, crowd's going for Toro here. They saw him beat Punko. Uh -oh. oh, what an answer to the tackle. Capital punishment with a capital P. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh no. Man, he's going for that wall standing too a lot. He's greedy with it. Okay. Wavu. Staggered wave. Oh, another capital Man, punishment. That's not good for Toro. Okay, but he's alive. One mix up could do it here. For anyone. Oh, oh what a punishment. Oh! Oh my gosh. I thought he was gonna throw it away. Yeah, that was gonna oh. get ugly. That's crazy. So Bobito moves on. And Toro, who we saw beat Punko earlier, is going to the loser's bracket. That's funny because Punko was watching that fight. I wonder if they'll have a double, double Jeopardy match. It's, it's definitely possible. Yeah, right? This it's is cool. Possible. Maybe he wants to be a hero twice in one day. Man, Punko's not going to be happy about that loss uh -uh. to him. He's licking his chops right now that, he, <laughs> that Bobino beat him. Yeah, so, okay, we'll be back. Bifuteki, let him know. We're going to tag in Anakin and Steve. Thanks for joining us, Internet. We'll Stay tuned all day. We're going to be here all day long. Yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Take it easy.